All right, now this is a spur of the moment thing. I bought this for my cousin to replace the Q5 I bought him last year. Of course, he's moved into an apartment and he said he's probably not doing 5.1. He's just going to do a 2.1. Maybe. He's a... So I'm like, all right, good. This was on sale. It's a Harman Kardon 2.1 network Blu ray 3D HDMI switching receiver. And uh, I have not seen anything like it before. Not really. I mean, anything you talk about stereo receiver is usually not going to have HDMI and things like that. Heavy duty packet. So this is the first time I'm hooking this up. Just bought it. Just showed up. I went through the box. I took off the cover just to make sure it was all in here. And a moat retrol. I'm going to, I guess, hook it up here temporarily. It's a nice remote. Batteries. Does it need batteries? Cool if it didn't need batteries. Oh. Hope they come with. All right, so what do we got? Dump the box. Basically, Christmas is coming and I'm gonna be leaving this apartment soon with that to give to him and then I'm not gonna be able to review it. So let's just make a real quick, dirty. And when I say real quick, it usually just means rushed and poor. But we're gonna hook that son of a bitch up to my laptop and hopefully it'll pass out through my NEC and we'll be able to push audio with it in however long that takes. And I also have stuff in the oven warming up, so this is good. This is good, good motivation right here. It's also very rare to have a uh, cover in the front. Okay, we've got FM antenna. Oh, it came with a, a HDMI. It's nice of them. Does that mean I have to disconnect one? I have brought my own, so I'll leave this one together. Uh, it comes with antennas. It's a standard power plug. Oh, it comes with banana plugs and a screwdriver. That's better than that because it's only 2.1. They're cheap. They're cheap. It has it's a calibration microphone. Calibration microphone. We're not doing that. How is it going to calibrate in a 2.1? I mean, it can do it. It's just that it seems like a waste for like room correction. All you could do is really phase and then check if the subwoofer is set right. Does have. I'll unplug that for now. Nice and convenient. The Wi Fi antennas, I'll show you where they go. I'm not going to hook those up either. And I don't particularly care about FM at this moment. Yeah, it's too shiny. It's going to show my face. Now, it's a Blu-ray player also. And frankly, this will be the first Blu-ray player that my family, as like extended family, owns. Because we're all either streamers or downloaders. So the fact that it's got a Blu-ray player means I'm going to probably buy him, you know, really terrible movies on, on uh, DVD, on Blu-ray. It's got a 3.5 millimeter. Doesn't say what it is, input or output. Got an iPad USB, and it's got, I'm sure this is a touch thing. It's all covered in that like extra plastic, the uh, extra, yeah, the plastic on the plastic to keep the plastic shining. Wish it wasn't shiny plastic, but you know, we'll deal with that. Now, power, power switch, antenna one, antenna two, which are in the box. Five-way binding posts, which are very weird. We're actually really close together, which is sort of annoying. It's got a fan built in. It's got a cycle button. I've got to read what that is. Network there, obviously wireless network, which I'll prob he'll probably definitely be using. A five volt USB, which I'm not sure if that is data or just for that. And it's got three HDMI ins and one monitor out. One is labeled Roku, which is interesting. MHL in one. And the out is arc capable, FM thing, and we've got one coaxial in, two optical in, so capable of three digital inputs plus three HDMI inputs. So that's good for music and that's good for video and consoles. We've got, and then we've got two analog auxiliaries. It's for the price I got this, and I'm going to spoil it for you. I got this for a hundred dollars. 
straight from Harmon Cardinal. All right. I don't know what it's going. It's not going to be there anymore. I'll link to whatever it is on Amazon because I'm sure they sell it. I want to peel this off so bad. No, no, that's his joy, not my joy. That's his joy. Let's wire it up before I turn it on. Okay. So HDMI. This is going to the monitor. Flip that. And I'll put this one out of my laptop and into my, which one are we using? The Roku input. And then we're gonna do power, actually should probably do speakers first. Beep to you too. Yes. Uh, I don't smell anything burning. That's good. That's good news. Why this color scheme? Jesus. That's a little cheap. Everything moves. One, two. Okay. Speakers. I bought the... Uh, XLR version as well, because I'm a lunatic. One. Wavecrests it is. The Wavecrests have been hanging around for a long time now. And they're pretty much my default go-to just to test things. Speakers? Speakers? Sorry about that. I'm starting to smell food. At some point in this review, I may have to stop it or just run into the kitchen and shut off that toaster oven. Plug for the power. The power plug. And there's no fire. That's good. Oh, it's doing the Xbox. Oh, Harmon power on Harmon Garden. Our question is, is it gonna pass through? that resolution vertical or I'd have to turn it sideways set to 1080 and try that okay very simple remote let's go with the remote this TV power which initial setup English I have to physically turn this on it's in sleep mode I've had it where it does that it's probably gonna freak out actually you should just there it goes all right. This, this works fine for me, guys. I don't know about you. Oh, wait, I can't turn the lens or it disappears. So I'll have to keep it English. Uh, resolution 2160p. It does 4K. We'll do 1080p for now because he's got a 1080p television. Uh, yep, keep changes. 16 by 9 full. It doesn't obviously handle that. Ignore that it's sideways on a thing. That's... That's irrelevant to the situation. Okay. That's a really nice, fast responding menu. I'll tell you that much. So, all right, let's go uh, HDMI 1 in, which is where my computer's plugged in. Yay, sort of. Yeah, I don't think it could handle the rotated. Actually, it's a different device. Let's see. It's trying to do 13. It's doing multiple monitors, which I do not want it to do. I want it to only do display two, which is that one. I'll apply that first. I don't want to have to rotate the monitors. And now we're going to rotate portrait. Come on, come on, yes. All right, she won't push my crazy widescreen thing but that's fine for now this is all i need now i just gotta tell it playback devices hdmi tv which is this i hope it's not talking to them that we're gonna go to configure it's gonna be stereo that means it works 
their full range, next, finish, properties, supported formats, does 88, just barely cut off, DTS, HD, full levels, full enhancements, disable all enhancements, you have to click that on, or else even though those aren't checked, it'll still fuck with the sound. And let's set it to the highest, 24192, we're allowing blah, 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 blah. Um, so, it's got a subwoofer out, right? Right? Yeah, there it is. So it is a legitimate 2.1, just like the Griffin here, which, if this isn't available, this is pretty much that with way less features. Fucking way less features. One optical in and Bluetooth, and that's it. And that was more money than this. That was more money than this. I got such a good deal. All right. I'm going to go find a movie. I guess I'll have to pull it off my network. Hold on. Movies. Airplane 2, the sequel. Ah! 300. So I should be able to go to filters. Oh, I gotta shut my food off. 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 I warm up everything in a toaster oven, by the way. Like, there's vegetables and raviolis and just everything. Chicken, throw it all in there. Hessia. 4K res Hessia. Okay, legendary pictures. Volume all the way down. We're still hearing audio, which means it is passing through DT. Oh, it says Dolby Digital there. That's an awful lot of volume. That's max volume. Skip ahead. Whipped pines moving against the coming night. Let's mute it before we get pulled off of YouTube because it'll hear that 300's playing and just fuck with it. Let's see what options we've got. Pop up. Pop-up does nothing. Top menu. It's got to be controls for the DVD. All right, it's display. Display change in here. Surround. Mute. No. Where's menu? Program, bookmark, thumbnail, zoom. Wow, it's really... Because it's got a circle. And then it's got this square. It's got a lot of things to push. A lot of pushing is going to be going on now. Program. No. Bookmark. No, any of these do anything. Oh, there we go. So that's setup. Adjust lip sync setup, sound setup. Doing the sound setup. So you got treble bass, surround is stereo, or what other options? All right, you got HVS or stereo. I don't know what HVS is. Let's put it to that though, because it sounds awesome. Savoring the meal to come. High volume stereo? I have to read through a book in a review. It's the nicest envelope ever delivered with a thing. Important safety instructions. Jesus, this size is safety. Every language. Every fucking language on earth. That's all this is, is safety instructions in multiple languages. Wow. They're probably not important. I'm sure it won't catch fire. Nothing. Um, so what am I looking under? God, this is quality. Wax coated. You know, I've given a lot of shit to Harmon Carden and their receivers. I haven't been, you know, recommending them often. Because they're just too expensive. This was... This fucking thing is $600 on their website. So the fact I got it for a hundred, okay, I'll give it a shot. But I'm not recommending it for six hundred dollars. The fact that the things move is no, is a no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, show me that screen. That makes things go. How to plug it in? And the internet. Da, da, da. Am I in a different language now? Is that literally it? This is twenty-two languages, isn't it? Wow, maybe it has no options. Subwoofer output, seven. Is it just showing? Oh, that's just a number. I mean, there's no, like, 
important to make sure the positive and negative. This is this is we're getting back to why Harman Kardon is a a thing. How to use the BDS home menu explanation. Press the remote control home button. Display the home menu. All right, let's go to that. The home button is this Blu-ray, Bluetooth, disc, HDMI. Where's home? Pop up there. Okay. So that's going to bring us back to the very sideways menu where we get to choose Bluetooth audio, Apple AirPlay, FM radio. He's going to be pissed. There's no AM on this. So that means he's not going to be able to listen to the Yankee game. Sorry. It's Christmas. I'll buy you whatever the hell I feel like. Uh, we've also got AccuWeather, VTuner, and Pandora. Okay. What else we got? What else we got? Photos, videos, auxiliary from a coaxial optical stereo or TV arc. Nice. Settings. Sorry for this being crooked. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to bleed. So we got display. Show me resolution, aspect ratio, video mode is standard. What can I change in that? Wow, what a good menu. What a... After using my fucking thousand dollar Tascam receiver, which is basically an Ankyo receiver, which is basically an Ankyo rebranded um, in, Insignia. No, in, Integra 30.4. The menu isn't that fucking horrific. This is way nicer. I gotta pull off my... Uh, that lens fucks up the screen when I turn sideways. So we got resolution 1080. And you get to pick right there. Aspect ratio, you get to pick right there. Video mode, standard, vivid, cinema, or custom. That should not be an option. That's a TV option. I don't know why that's even a thing. I'm not going to play with it on here either. TV standard, NTSC or PAL, color space, RGB, uh, YUV or XV color, which would be... Actually, can I do XV color on this? That might actually be better. It's expanded, whatever. Uh, HDMI deep color is on, film mode is on, HDMI 3D is on, and I'd probably shut, it's off, I'm sorry, it's off. 2D to 3D conversion is off, angle icon is, whether an icon is from the alternate angle tracks, interesting. Let's put that on. That'll show you if you can watch a scene at a different angle. That was like a fucking DVD option years ago that no one ever gave a shit about. Show picture and picture icon. I want to, yeah, put all these put all these things on. This is a lot of options. Second audio icon. No, it doesn't need that. That's if you have Spanish. All right, let's go down to sound. Speaker setup assignment setup, which is going to be a full thing. Let's take a look at it. Oh, which Harmon and Cardin speakers do you own? Other manual, because I'm a boss. So let's see. You've got. Left, can you actually shut off the speaker? Yeah, about to say, you can't shut off the left speaker. I don't want the left speaker today. I just want the right speaker today. Crossover. Set automatically to 100. That's why they didn't sound very good just now. I just set them to large, which means they'll get full range. Now, he'll have to buy a sub, and then he could take it off a of large and adjust it. You get the level adjustment, and meters he's gonna be pretty f i'll just set it for his so he doesn't have to fucking touch this he's gonna be at least at least four meters away so now we go up subwoofer that i should be able to shut off because i don't have one here and now, now it's automatically set the speakers to large okay so you basically it expects you to have a subwoofer and speakers and it automatically sets it to 100 Distance, assuming he's got it even, which he's as OCD as I am, so that should be fine. 3.9 meters, is that where I set it to on this? Yes. Return. Okay, return. So that's sound. sound. Speaker package, other. Yeah, there, there. Harman Kardon loves it. EQ is other. Manual configuration setup. Treble, bass. HDMI audio out is off. So I could still pass through the audio to another device, like a TV or something. Dynamic range control is on auto. I'm going to leave it on auto because he's in an apartment and I don't want to kill him. Dolby volume. Adjust Dolby volume level. 
something you got to play with when you get a movie on. By the way, this really hurts my back. Like, this is terrible. Who did this? Energy. Screensaver. Off. Auto standby on. Touch. Front panel brightness. That's 100% apparently. It's not very bright for 100%. MHL power. What does that mean? Allow MHL to power devices while Blu-ray Disc S is in standby. Yeah, okay. Okay. Language? Should I put it in Chinese and gift it to him? That'd be awesome. I'd have to know how to shut it off, but it'd be awesome to start with. Network connection type. Wired. Set up Wi-Fi. I'm not going to set any of this up because I'm here and I'm giving it to him and it'll be different on his. Setup. Initial setup. Divix. Divix! Video on demand. DRM. Register. I'm falling. Information more. Let's see what information more says. Mac address. Oh, can't look at the Mac address. No! You'll hack his Gibson. No hacking his Gibson. Okay. Back, 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 back. How do I just get out of the home again? Good keyboard. I guess I gotta select HDMI 1 again. I really like this remote. It's got a shiny bit, which usually is no good, but then it's got this rubberized back so it can't slide anywhere. All the buttons feel like, like Samsung tries to make nice things and fails. I'm sorry to say this about Samsung, but their TVs, they're just, all the remotes, which I hate them. Harman Kardon should make remotes for TVs because this is really nice. All right, let's, uh, let's change movies. Control page down. 2047, Sights of Death. I haven't seen that. I heard it's terrible. A Scanner Darkly. If you haven't seen this movie, see it. There were no demand in our society. English, please. There would be no market for these leeches to exploit. Each day, this disease takes its toll. Keanu Reeves. This claims like 120 watts per channel, which I'm going to say that, not remembering. And it isn't seemingly putting that out right now because I just hit it to max and it didn't blow these speakers up. But uh, I'm thinking that's got something to do with the way I have it set up really temporarily and I haven't gone through all the options. And But other than that... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a touch. It's a touch wheel. Volume. I'm going to do a spinny. Oh, and it follows me with a light. That's cool. All right, so that was my review. Uh, my food's probably done, and uh, you guys can enjoy it. There's no power. How do I... Boom. Yeah, so now it's time to think of some... I want you to people to listen to comments. What will be the most hilarious Blu-ray to buy him now that he has this? Because now I can just buy him like a $10 just... What's the worst movie? What's the movie you never want to get on Blu-ray? Medea, all the Medea collection, like the big box set. That'd probably be fucking hilarious.